my beautiful babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Boss Up Budgets. On this channel, I do cash stuffing, budgeting, saving up challenges, and all things money related. And I also love giving you guys life updates or whatever's going on in my world. So I always recommend you guys grabbing a cup of coffee, tea, wine, whatever, and come and hang out with me as I talk about my finances. Today, we are going to be stuffing paycheck number two of November. I also have a big amount today, like last week. We are stuffing at two thousand three hundred and thirty six dollars i'm gonna go ahead and start with the cash count and then we'll dive into what's going on in my life this week so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen hundred 51 52 53 54 55 56 50 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Perfect. So everything is in here. A big chunk of this money, about 17 plus hundred dollars, came from my bucket of my unemployment. It was my severance pay from my last company. I've been really dipping into that bucket in my Ally Savings account every week so that I could stay afloat while I found a job. I will leave a timestamp down below for you guys that want to carry on with the cash stuffing so that you guys can skip this portion. And I always like telling because I know some of my my viewers love watching the cash stuffing and aren't really here for the long life updates so I always want to you know give a disclaimer okay buckle up you guys we are diving in I'm gonna be completely honest here very transparent so yeah so last week I told you guys that I found a new job and that I signed the offer letter I negotiated the deal I got what is it 6,000 more uh, annually than I anticipated. So I was supposed to start work next week, had signed the offer letter and I said that I wanted to start, you know, on Monday and not anytime sooner because I still had a couple of things to take care of, like switching from a remote workplace to going in office. I needed to revamp on my wardrobe and all that. So I had asked them for a little bit more time. Since I signed the offer letter, I think about three or four weeks ago because I did share the news with you guys a little bit late. I just wanted to settle in with the, you know, the idea of of having a job and enjoying myself with my friends and my family because of that and since I signed the offer letter till Monday um, which was three days ago I had zero response from anyone like oh my Alexa went off um, but I had zero response from anyone no one reached out to me no one was like checking in on me just to backtrack before I signed the offer letter I had said oh can you send me the offer letter you know, all the benefits and the company perks and all that stuff I want to review the entire compensation package the only thing the person sent me was the benefits package which honestly the benefits are very bad I think I mentioned it in my last video that they only pay 55% of the premium. In turn, I was about to pay like $250, $275 monthly for benefits. After I had signed the offer letter, they sent me the handbook and it was in the handbook that I'm like reviewing all the policies and you know, the different company perks. There are almost no perks. The thing that caught me off guard was their paid time off. You accrue a maximum of one week per year. Let me let that soak in. Not even one week seven days, one week five business days, okay? My last position, when I first started that year, we were still on an accrual based PTO. So that means like every hour you work, you accrue a certain amount. I accrued, I believe it was 16 
full days. The second year I worked at my last company, we switched to unlimited PTO, meaning you have free range of how many days you want to take off. And you know what the gag is? You literally cannot roll those five days over to the next year. So no matter what, I will never ever at this company be able to take more than one week off. And I would work the entire year before I can get five days off. So it stung a lot and in my head I was like, okay, this is just a placeholder job. I'm really not gonna stay here for that long. It's not that the benefits suck and it can't change. It's just that it really shows you how a company views their employees and how they value flexibility or value time off or value work-life balance. Fast forward, three days ago on Monday, I got a call randomly um, from someone, I guess in the company that I have not spoken to before she left a voicemail saying that she was arranging my travel plans so if I can give her a call back I went on my email and saw from the same person she had also sent an email so she's like double communicating with me she sent an email saying hey I left you a voicemail and I just want you to make sure that your Navon profile is up to date so Navon I didn't even know what this website was apparently it is like a company website that handles like travel and stuff like you can book travel for your employees through that website but the employees are supposed to have a profile right when I clicked on Avon it says enter your work email which no one has even contacted me so how would I even have that you know so I was like very appalled I gave her a call back she didn't mention anything about Navon she was just like hey thank you for contacting me so I am just trying to finalize your travel and I'm trying to book your flight over to this office by the way I am working in the California branch specifically the Bay Area branch I'm gonna be in the HR world and handling that for the California branch and what they're trying to do is send me to headquarters in Alabama yes their headquarters are in Alabama Huntsville, Huntsville, Alabama. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I have just never pronounced that ever in my life. She's like, trying to book your travel to Montgomery. I'm like, okay, this doesn't sound familiar at all, but you know, Montgomery, Alabama. And she's like, okay, so are you like an early bird or do you like getting up later than that? And I was like, oh, how early is early? And she says, 6.15 is when your flight will leave. I said, um, do you have something like around noon? 6.15 is actually pretty early because, you know, taking into account my city has terrible traffic. It will take me about an hour to get to that airport. Port. That means I have to be up about like three. Even I don't do that when I go to Vegas. Like she didn't sound too pleased by what I was saying. So she's like, oh, let me check. Oh, I have something for 225 and you'll get there at 1130. I was shocked. Didn't anticipate how far Alabama was. That's my bad on geography. I didn't think it was going to take nine hours because there's going to be a layover somewhere. She says the returning flight is going to be 3 p.m. on Friday. I was like okay which Friday Friday November what and she says Friday November 17 I'm like okay so you want me to leave November 12 she says yes and I was like I signed my offer letter and it said November 13 I was not anticipating on traveling or starting work and she's like oh well you do get a grace period so your travel day is Sunday on Monday it's the grace period so you won't be working technically you don't start work until Tuesday November 14 like in my head I'm like the way that she's saying it right now sounds like I'm not gonna get paid for Sunday or Monday so I was like okay can I give you a call back and she's like well you know I was really trying to to finalize this today but right now I'm gonna run to the post office and I'm gonna drop some stuff off and I won't be back until 4 p.m. and I was like that's totally fine you can give me a call back like you know whenever you're free after the post office and she's like okay sure so we hang up first instinct is like who's gonna take care of my dog I need a pet sitter this is very last minute I have no clothes in this case I have to find five outfits five work outfits I don't even know which luggage is usable where my luggages are it's, it's a flight it's like a full-on one week trip. I had to go into the handbook because I had so many questions like am I getting paid for travel hours or am I sitting on nine hours of the plane for free because I am an exempt worker. I'm not non-exempt. I don't get paid by the hour. When I looked through the handbook, all they talked about was non-exempt. So in my head, light bulb, exempt worker, they probably won't pay you for 
travel. What about my meals? Which hotel am I staying at? Are my meals paid? Is my Uber paid? How am I gonna get transported? Why am I going to Montgomery? I searched it up. It's like two hours and 45 minute worth of a drive to Huntsville. I'm supposed to get off a nine hour flight at 11 and somehow get an Uber to drive me three hours. So I'll get there at 2 a.m. I was literally so stressed that I was going to cry. I was talking to my boyfriend and my best friends and just unbelievable the amount of out of touch they are i also take into account how people are explaining things to me and the fact that our conversation on the phone was about three minutes she even forgot to tell me what date I'm even going, she just said Sunday to Friday. This is not what I envisioned my first working flight to be. And I'm kind of uncomfortable to be in another state that I've never been with a bunch of people that I don't know. Quite overwhelming to say the least. I waited until 4 p.m. I didn't get a call. So I just sent her an email. I didn't receive the call from you, but I'm sure you were hung up on something. I am able to travel on Sunday, but please give me a call. I have a lot of questions. The next morning at 7 a.m., obviously, I'm asleep I'm not I'm not waking up at 7 a.m. in the morning you guys she called I didn't pick up and two minutes later I get an Expedia notification that I am traveling to Alabama I guess my questions are not gonna get answered. I did say that I'm able to travel, but you only gave me two options of flight. I didn't even get to tell you my preference and I already have flight anxiety. My preference is no layover and just going straight there. And am I flying economy or are we doing business? Am I gonna get comfort or am I gonna be sitting in between two people that I also don't know? Like it was just a lot, you guys. So I woke up and I was not feeling very good. I was not happy with how the company has already been communicating with me and how much they're rushing this process. I feel like if I was supposed to travel for work, someone should have let me know before Monday. I'm supposed to go from Monday afternoon finding out that I need to fly on Sunday. Five days to prep and plan and organize. I thought about it really hard and I ultimately made the decision to not start with this company. This pebble almost felt like it was meant to be because I would have just blindly, you know, start this position and no worry at all and just kind of like suffer a little bit just to get the paycheck. I was just thinking if I start this company, it will be extremely hard for me to interview at places, be extremely hard for me to be flexible, to get to know other companies companies and to continue the job search and once I start working here my EDD is gonna stop in two weeks if I hate the job if I go to Alabama and I hate the job and I come back and I say oh well I don't want the job um, my EDD is gonna stop and since I've made that decision was it two days ago or yesterday I, I can't even remember I feel a lot better about it I think I'm still a little bit anxious because I know that my first day of work should have came this entire month I had the idea that I was gonna start work so I messed up a lot by spending a lot of money did a couple of things for myself I bought a couple of things for people I didn't skimp out on food I didn't skimp out on adventures with people and I messed up and probably racked up a rack or two on my credit card which I'm fidgeting right now because um, it's very stressful and I pulled out 1700 last week and I pulled out another 1700 this week pay off my credit card from that nesting bucket but now I'm kind of stressed out and I might not even use this 1700 to pay off my credit card I might have to leave it inside the bucket just in case something happens and I actually need cash on hand I don't know there's a lot of things that are moving right now but one thing I know for sure is I don't think I would have been happy going to Alabama I think I would be majorly stressed out majorly anxious and my safety is my priority but I will be on flight or fight mode like 24 7 on the other side one of the reasons also why I decided not to go with the company was because my time would be very limited being in office it's not just eight hours a day it's plus one hour traffic there one hour traffic back that's already 10 hours plus another hour getting ready and another hour getting unready realistically it's actually 12 hours of a work day that's not enough time to do content for me. I'm still really happy with my path with content. This is my side channel and I do have another channel on other social media platforms that right now I feel like I'm kind of blowing up on them and I'm kind of getting a little bit of traction so I'm just really excited. I think content really makes me happy. It's a hobby of mine that brings me a lot of 
you know, happiness, spark, motivation, all that. I have a purpose still. Sometimes I'm wondering what am I doing with my life, but I think I'm just taking it day by day and I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to stay happy. I'm really grateful for everything that I have right now. As far as my career, I'm still gonna go back to step one. I'm still gonna start applying and interviewing at places, but now I know to go with my gut feeling and not settle. I now know that benefits and perks and company values and all that stuff really, really matters to me. So anyway, Thank y'all for listening to that part of me. Please leave a comment down below about what you feel about this story, anything that I could have done to be different, any advice you have for me or anything at all. Leave a comment down below because I really want to know if this story does resonate with you. I'm saying story, but it's literally... <laughs> my life. Anyways, that's probably one of the longest stories that I have for you guys. So I'm just gonna leave everything in there. You know, usually I edit a lot of my comments out and a lot of my voice out, but I'm just gonna leave a lot of it in there. Here is the portion for some of you guys that did skip over. Let's get straight into the cash stuffing because that's important and that's why you're here. The first one is $35 for coffee. So $20. 30 and 35 and I'm gonna leave everything that I previously budgeted for this week in here I'm not gonna make any changes and then after this video if I need to make necessary changes I will um, gas and EV is getting $48 so 20 40 45 46 47 48 And this envelope has 20, 40, 60, 81, 110, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I believe next week a lot of these amounts are going to go back down. I'm going to rework my budget because I increased it for last week and this week when I knew that I have a job and I need more gas to get there and I need more, um, you know, coffee money and groceries money, things like that. But we're going to go back a little bit down. So groceries is going to get 50. 70 80 and that's gonna total 163 dollars that i get to spend this week also nail cam you guys last week i didn't get to show these nails for you guys but i got sweater weather nails adore them i haven't had something like this before so just white frenchies and a brown frenchie and it just has the sweater design this pink does definitely match with my skin tone anyways moving on to our expenses and our debt binder this one is car insurance it is getting 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. Now it has 500, 600, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 910, 920, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 990. Next one is my car note. It is getting 50, 70, 80, 85, oops, 86, 87, 88. Now it has 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Now it has 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, and 176. Gym is next and it is getting 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now it has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Then we have ortho 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. Now ortho has 50, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And the last one for my recurring expense is my phone. This one is getting 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59, 50, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 118. All right, then we're gonna move in to our fixed expense. Car registration is first. It is getting 5, 
six, and seven. Now has 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 280, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and 286. And keep an eye out, you guys. Next week, I will have a how to start your cash stuffing system, how to budget, how I basically do all of this that I'm doing. So keep a lookout for that video. I know some of you guys have been asking for it. Oh, we're going to go to our debt credit card. going to put in a lot of money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seven, twenty, seven, thirty, and thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, and thirty four. All right, and then I have my student loan. I will put ten and a five. Now it has 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 180. And have you guys watched any new movies? I watched the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. I went on a date with my boyfriend and I think it was something with flower killer of the flower moon something like that um it's a three hour long movie and his acting is actually really good i think that that was a really good story i think it captured a lot of the culture of native americans or indians it's just an amazing movie in my opinion top tier i would rate it like a nine out of ten um what am i doing i'm pulling out my tax envelope money which i don't need to okay so that is it for this binder now i'm gonna move in to my emergency funds and my savings the first one is Bentley emergency and I'll touch a photo for you guys but he is getting 20 21 22 23 he has 1500 600 700 727 40 41 42 43 44 45 and 46 life insurance will get 20 30 35 36 it has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 485, 520, 540, 560, 580, 590, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So that was $1,644. I have 60 more dollars to go and I'm good on this envelope. My bill gets charged to my account first week of January. So I have 60 more dollars to go and I'm good on this envelope. My bill gets charged to my account first week of January. Now we're going to move into our two savings challenge. This first one is a savings challenge for my boyfriend's birthday, which is coming up so soon, you guys. It's in like two to three weeks. And I'm going to stuff five, ten, and another five. So that's $20 total. So five, ten, and five. Now I'm going to count this all up. It has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, and 210. And my boyfriend actually started streaming, you guys. I don't know if I mentioned it, but... He said I inspired him to do content. I mean, he already did start on content, but I think he is inspired by my consistency and how I've created a community for myself with this channel and my other channels. It inspired him to start streaming again. He is streaming on Twitch. His main game that he plays is Call of Duty. And I think Modern Warfare 3 is coming out this Friday. So November 11th. He's really excited about that. Um, the next one is my Christmas savings challenge. So I will of the 10, 15, and the other 15. So 10, 15, and another 15. Now this envelope has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2, 210, 220, 230, 240, 255. Perfect. That is it for my savings binder. Lastly, we have our short-term sinking funds binder. I will stuff Bentley Essentials first. 
he is getting five dollars which i will take out because i got him some wet food from walmart last weekend but he has 20 40 50 55 60 and 65 and then house essentials one two it now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, and 68. And lastly, for myself, I will stuff the remaining amount, which is 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now it has 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78 almost 200 i think at the end of this month you guys i will have a bill swap i have a couple of things that need to go in my savings account so it can accrue interest that is it you guys thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me i really do appreciate each and every one of you i will catch you guys next week ta-ta for now